Hello, welcome back. Here we're going to work what I'm going to call a monster problem. It's an ugly problem. I'm going to warn you right in the beginning. Um, it's a problem I almost didn't even include, but you know, you're going to get a problem like this on an exam or a quiz at some point, and you're going to pull your hair out trying to figure out how to do it. So I want to show you how to do one of these guys. Uh, it is a, a non-inverting amplifier with multiple inputs. Each input is A, B, and C, and they're all driven through different resistors. The only resistor we know the value of is the middle one, 15 kilo ohms. We're calling him RB. RA and RC we don't know the values of. We do know the values of these guys up here, so we could calculate the gain right away. Um, and then we know the output voltage here. Now here's the tricky part. It says find the values of A and C, these resistor values, so that the output of this is VA here plus 2 times VB plus 3 times VC. Now the problem is that you're not given numbers for A, B, and C and the output equation or the output of the amplifier you're not given a number for any of it. So this is just an algebra problem. It's a nasty, nasty, nasty algebra problem. So basically what you have to do is formulate a strategy so that you write an expression for the output of this amplifier, given all of this junk, right? And then you're going to end up setting it equal to what you're told that the output should be. And from that nasty, nasty equation, I'm building it up a little too much, it's not that bad, but from that big equation, you're going to be able to pull out the values of these resistors that, that must be there in order to make it happen. So. This, obviously, you can't do a Thevenin equivalent, at least not an easy Thevenin equivalent, because you don't have any values for anything. Um, obviously, this doesn't really match the amplifier configurations exactly. We know it's non-inverting, but we have multiple sources and multiple resistors, and it's a, it's a, it's a form of a non-inverting summing amplifier. Um, but we, don't, we can't just cookie cut or do it. So there's really no other way to tackle this other than to go back to first principles. And I know you hate that, but that's what we have to do. So our strategy here is to look at the bottom node first, this one. We know that no current goes into this amplifier, so we can write a node voltage equation here. And that node voltage equation is going to sum up the current going through this resistor this way, through this resistor this way, through this resistor this way, and into the amplifier, which we know is zero, but we still count it. And all of those currents must sum to equal zero. That's going to give us a big equation, and it's going to have lots of variables everywhere, so get ready for that. And then ultimately, we, we can't predict at this stage of the game what to do next. It just as if I, I have the answer here, I could read it to you, but the point is when you're solving it, you're not going to really know what to do until you get to that point, and then you kind of see what to do. So don't try to map it out too far, but you know that no matter what, you can write a node voltage equation there, and that you're going to end up having to set it equal to something to do with this equation over here. So what I'm going to do to try to keep it legible is to start the calculation here of this node voltage, and when we get to the answer, I'm going to move it over to the other board because I'll have to draw some conclusions on it. So the node voltage here, node voltage at that uh, non-inverting terminal is going to be fun, and it's going to be the following. What's the current through this resistor? This guy we're going to call, you know what, let's label it in a different color. This is V sub 2. We've been doing that all along. This is V sub 1. We'll leave it like that. We know V1 and V2 are going to be equal, but for now we've got to call this V2. So the current through this resistor is V2 minus VA over RA. So we're going to write that down as V sub 2 minus V sub A over R sub A. Simple. Current going through that resistor. Then the next stage of the game is current going through this resistor. V2 minus the other voltage on the other side, V2 minus VB over this guy. Now, resist the urge. Well, you, you could do it any way you want. I could stick 15 kilo ohms in there right now, um, but then I'm going to have times 10 to the 3 running